I need to quit caffeine. I, I need to quit caffeine. But, but lately, I've really felt like just kind of crap all day. Like, headache, very de-energized, demotivated. Um, and so I've been trying to, you know, take steps to fix this. Like, for example, exercise. I'm trying to run now, like, preferably three to four miles every day. You know, go to bed early, wake up early, have fulfilling relationships. Um, and I'm doing all of the things right. So why do I feel so much worse than I did when I was, like, going to bed at 1, 2 a.m. every night? And I don't, I, I couldn't figure out what had changed. My computer fan is booting up, lovely. Until I, I thought, it's, 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 I think it's the caffeine. You know, I've talked with Susan a lot because she used to love coffee, but then has some health issues and now can't drink it anymore. And so she's kind of been in my shoes and she's like, yeah, it's, it's the caffeine and it's pretty bad. And I have to agree. I have to agree. And I, and I know, right, that it's time to quit because drinking originally coffee now tea is n like it's not something i enjoy doing anymore it's something i have to do i have to drink it or else i get horrible throbbing headaches all day and just feel like utter crap and just want to lay in bed and not do anything that's not a good way to live your life especially when you know you're have to make a video being fun and happy and charismatic, which until relatively recently, I guess, was kind of my default. But the last couple years is just kind of tanked. And I'm, I'm, yeah, it was when I realized like, oh my gosh, this doesn't seem fun. Why doesn't this seem fun? Because it always has. Um, and I think it's because my brain is just, it's such a mental fog. You know, I sat down to write out a video because I don't trust myself to kind of ad lib them right now. So I was like, okay, I'm just gonna write out a script and nothing. I sat here for like an hour in front of an empty Google Doc. Nothing, nothing. So like even as I speak right now, I have the beginnings of a headache because I've only had 160 milligrams of caffeine or so. Uh, yesterday I had, what is it? I, I've, I've been drinking, I switched from coffee to tea, right? And each tea bag has about 80 milligrams, 80 to 90 milligrams of caffeine. And yesterday I had four. And you would think, right, in my thinking, was, oh, the more of this I have, the more, like, mentally sharp and awake and alert I will feel. But that is not the case at all. If anything, it just makes me feel kind of aggravated and angry. I felt frustrated at everything. And my hands were shaking and I couldn't stop them. And I was just so upset. And so today I tried to only have two cups, which is kind of, you know, the normal amount of tea to have. And even still... Like, now I just have a headache and feel like crap. So I need to quit this. I need to. But the problem is, I'm just concerned that I, I can't be feeling like this when I have a deadline for videos I have to make. You know, I have to make a video tomorrow, and I don't know what to do. Because I can't be feeling like this all day. But I don't know what the solution is. I don't know how to go back to feeling normal temporarily even. Because if I have you know, a lot of caffeine, then I'll feel like crap. If I have a little caffeine, I'll feel like crap. It should only take about a month, and I'm trying to go more of the route of weaning off. But my only concern with weaning off is that it doesn't, like, establish kind of a streak. I'm very good. I'm very motivated by streaks. And I'm just concerned that if it's like, oh... You know, if I'm like two cups a day for like a week and then one cup a day for like a week, then one of those days I'm just going to like give in and be like, I've been doing this for, you know, like, like I still feel like crap. 
so and just give in and drink a whole bunch or like some emergency will come up i'd love to be off of it for vidcon and BlimeyCon because those are times i need to be at like my most charismatic and right now i just can't do that i can't be that way because it's like my creative juice in my brain has been replaced with just static electricity. I hate this feeling. I hate it. So I'm going to see, I want to say like, oh, well, oops. Well, then I'll film a video tomorrow and then maybe even try and quit cold turkey for a little bit. Because I feel like that's the most time effective way to do it. But I don't know. I feel like if I give myself like tomorrow off, then I'll just the next day I'll be like, well, and well, like I can't do that. Like I've, I've been very good at like snap decisions and sticking with those. Like, for example, you know, deciding to daily vlog on a whim for a year. Um, I don't know, man. I need to I need to stop caffeine and it's not going to be fun at all. It's going to be physically like painful with the headaches and the lethargy. But it's going to be good and I'm going to keep up like trying to like treat my body better at least, you know, going for runs. I've been doing push-ups every day. That's a new thing. I used to think like I couldn't do a one push-up. I just kind of assumed that was like, you know, part of who I was. I'd be like, oh, I'm Chris and I can't do push-ups. And then like a week or so ago, I tried and I could do like five in a row. And that made me feel really good. So it's not much, but I've been trying to do like five push-ups every day. Um, just, you know, a little bit of something, because I, like, my lower body is pretty, you know, I can exercise it, but my upper body has always been, like, a source of kind of insecurity, and so, like, I want to change that. <sighs> yeah. I've been trying to figure out why, even though I'm doing absolutely everything right, and I read stories of everybody else being like, oh, I've been exercising every day, you know, I've been getting a good amount of sleep, I've been very well hydrated, I drink a buttload of water a day, and I'm like, so where is this supposed, like, mental clarity? Where is it? I don't have it. I feel worse now than I, like, ever have. So, I'm hoping that this caffeine is the root of the problem because if it's not then I don't even know what the problem is like is this depression I don't think so though and I'm not like a oh I don't have the pre like I I don't I genuinely don't think that what I'm feeling is depression because I I don't know I also low-key just kind of hope it's not because I've seen I have a lot of good friends have had bad depression and I just I don't want that for myself so I don't know I'm going to like kind of systematically go through and like eliminate the variables as to what's causing this and hopefully can figure it out so wish me luck thanks for letting me just get that out and pray for me hmm